It gets crazier, people. Uh, in California, we mentioned this the other day, they literally, and I mean this literally, they literally want to pass legislation that if you as a parent do not affirm the gender identity of your child, say your seven-year-old who comes home and he's a boy, but he likes Barbie and he suddenly says he's a girl, uh, they might let the state take your child away. Yes, this is real. Here is California Representative Lori Wilson pushing AB 957, which if Republicans and the rest of us were smart, right, when they called HB 1557, don't say gay, we should be calling AB 957, Democrats are lunatics, Bill. That's another one that would be possible. But anyway, listen to her in her own words on what they want to do to these kids. So this particular bill adds the very important factor that affirming a child's gender identity is in their best interest, which is what your question is about. Why does it get, why does it actually say that in a, an affirmative way? And it really is because if you have a seven-year-old who's, who's talking about having a potential to say, I being able to articulate that they believe that they are not the same gender um, as they are biologically, then it should be affirmed. And through care, it should be determined. And that's what we did with our own child. And that would give the ability for a parent who wasn't sure to affirm and get their child the care that they need to make that, so they can begin to articulate that determination. But by saying and rejecting it in wholesale, then you're essentially rejecting your child. And that is not in the best interest of a child. We should be affirming our children in every possible way and getting them whatever appropriate care they need, whether it's based on their gender, whether it's based on how their um, studies are in school, it doesn't matter. Our children should be affirmed. And this is saying that you have to include gender affirmation as a part of it. Lady, who the hell do you think you are? You think that if someone else's seven-year-old child is a little confused about their gender, that somehow the government should be allowed to come in and take their child away from them and then mutilate their genitals. You are an effing lunatic. All of you people are lunatics. And if you are watching this and you live in California and you have small children, you must leave. And if you do not, one day they're gonna come knocking on your door for one reason or another. They'll have already taken all your money. You'll have meth addicts out in, the, in your front yard. You, we, the whole freaking place will be on fire, but maybe you will wake up when they literally take your child away from you. They never stop and they are not going to stop there. That line, it should be affirmed. She said, just like my child. So shocker, shocker, her child is trans. Her child is trans. And now she wants everyone else's child to be trans. You know, Jordan Peterson talks about this a lot. What we're seeing really, it's not a outbreak of trans children. It's an outbreak of middle-aged, basically mentally compromised women like her. They, they usually happen to be white women. She happens to be black. I don't really care about the racial element of it, but a bunch of sort of spiritually devoid 30, let's say 25 to you know child rearing age, 45 year old uh, women who are want to be liked so badly that they'll chop their kids' genitals off and then push that other people should do it too. It's absolutely insane.